Agents from the Federal Bureau of Investigation know more about who was involved in Tuesday's attacks on the World Trade Center and the Pentagon. On Thursday, police and FBI officials searched homes in Florida where some of the hijackers lived and took flying lessons. In Boston, Massachusetts, law enforcement officials searched an apartment building owned by the brother of terrorist Osama bin Laden. The FBI director, Bob Muller, says investigators have identified several of the hijackers and also are investigating others who may have some connection to the hijackings. Miami, we have leads indicating uh, the presence at some point in time of either the hijackers themselves, and we are attempting to recreate the, the uh, travels of each of the hijackers on the planes, either the hijackers themselves or their associates. And consequently, we, were following, we are following all leads. U.S. Attorney General John Ashcroft says more is now known about how the terrorists were able to take over the planes. The four planes were hijacked by between three and six individuals per plane using knives and box cutters in some cases making bomb threats. Our government has credible evidence that the White House and Air Force One were targets. Investigative help is also coming from Europe. In Hamburg, Germany, police raided several apartments, including the one where the suspects lived before they traveled to the U.S. Police in Hamburg had been investigating an Islamic group but said there was no connection to Osama bin Laden. Police confirmed three students who had been studying in Hamburg were also on the passenger lists of the planes that crashed into the World Trade Center and the Pentagon.